in this case are very plain. During the month of August, you were registered at the Sea Breeze Hotel with a woman, not Mrs. Topper. Well, yes, and, and no. Mr. Topper, once again I ask you, who was the woman with you at the Sea Breeze Hotel? Marion Kirby. Marion Kirby. Marion Kirby. I insist that you stop trying to make a mockery of this trial. Now he's yelling at me. Uh, kindly ask your questions in a milder tone. I'm sorry, Your Honor. You see? All right, I'll put it another way. Was there a woman with you at the Seabreeze Hotel on August 2nd? Yes. And no. Was there or wasn't there? Well, it's very hard to explain, but I could if you would only let me. Let him answer his own way. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, I'm afraid I can't tell you just exactly what happened because I don't know myself. It might make it everything a little clearer if I started with George and Marion Kirby. You see, it all began that day in June when George and Marion drove back home. George, look now! Something in my eye! Something in your eye? I told you to slow up, but you all know. Can I help it if a tire blows out? Besides, I had something in my eye. Couldn't have been your driving, could it? Hey, I've come around that curve much faster, lots of times, so have you. Oh, it was such a lovely car, too. Oh, George. Hmm? You're getting transparent. You're fading. Say, that's funny. I can see through you, too. Say, who's that? It's us. You know something, George? I think we're dead. I think you're right. I hope we go together, honey. So do I. Marion, what do you suppose is the conventional thing to do now? I don't know. We've never been conventional. I think we tell someone our good deeds, and then they open up the beautiful gates and let us through. Yes, but what good deeds have you done? Oh, doesn't. Name one. Well, I've... Uh, mm -hmm. I've... Uh, what good deeds have you done? Well, I... Yeah, at least we haven't done any bad ones, honey. You know, if we could do a good deed now, if we could... Oh, George, you're fading. Well, my trouble really began when I bought the Kirby car. That is, after it was fixed up, of course. My wife objected, so there was only one thing to do, and I did it. I ran away from home. It was a big car, and I wasn't used to driving such a powerful one. Naturally, I was somewhat nervous. Do you mind getting off my wife's lap? Who said that? Ali, Ali, I'll stand free. Stop it. My nerves are jumping off already. Where are 
are you? Hey, get off my foot. <laughs> Who are you? Where are you? I'm in no mood for this sort of thing. Toppy doesn't know us. Toppy doesn't know us. Mrs. Kirby, may I present Mr. Topper? How do you do, Mr. Topper? How, uh, how, how, how do you do? And this is Mr. Kirby, Mr. Topper. How, how do you... George and Mary and Kirby, why... It can't be. It, it, it mustn't be. It... it is. Oh, dear, dear. Topper's fainted. Get some water, Marion. Water. Come on, Topper. Oh! Oh, that's fine. You're a great help. My hat. Oh, no, no. No, it can't be. It... No, 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 no. Uh -huh. You don't mind, I'm gonna no. get in my car and drive home. No, Topper. Sit down, Topper. You can't get in your car and drive home because you've got a flat tire. Besides, it isn't your car, it's ours. Well, uh, I'll, I'll walk. You can have the car. Mrs. Topper doesn't like the horrible thing anyway. Oh, George, did you uh, hear that? Well. Mrs. Topper doesn't like the car. Oh, good deed. Let's get to work on him.